Last week, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis broke the left, sending two planes of illegal immigrants to Martha's Vineyard, the exclusive island off the coast of Massachusetts that's home to the nation's wealthy progressive elite, including the Obamas. Because nothing says climate change is real like a $12 million mansion at sea level. Residents weren't happy, complaining that they and their guest houses didn't have the resources to handle a few dozen foreigners who weren't going to mow their lawn or clean their swimming pool. At some point in time, they have to move to somewhere else, right? We, we cannot, we don't have the services to take care of 50 immigrants. Um, and we, we certainly don't have housing. We're in a housing crisis as we are on this island. And so we, we don't, we can't house everyone here that lives here and works here. We don't have housing for 50 more people. And within 48 hours, the migrants were shipped off to Cape Cod, with the Martha's Vineyard community celebrating their stunning sense of collective charity. People were quick to point out the sheer level of hypocrisy from a bunch of elitists who support Biden's policies, which includes transporting hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants across the country, often in the dead of night, especially when we take a look at some of the signs in front of these houses. One example is this one. In this house, we believe black lives matter. Women's rights are human rights. No human is illegal. Science is real. Love is love. Kindness is everything. But if you zoom in, you can actually see the final line, which reads, but also, f off. And while this is already old news, with Martha's Vineyard going back to normal after the island's maids worked overtime to Lysol every surface, the political fallout has continued. Left-wing critics compared the air-conditioned flight to Martha's Vineyard to the Holocaust, because it's a day that ends in Y. George Dakai said that there's another evil leader who is known for shipping innocent people off without their consent for processing elsewhere. He was, of course, talking about FDR. And like clockwork, the latest update this week is that Democrat Texas Sheriff Javier Salazar announced he is criminally investigating the incident. He also said he is working with private attorneys who are representing the victims. The victims being obviously the residents of Martha's Vineyard who were forced to see the consequences of what they voted for. The sheriff also admitted that he's not able to point to any actual laws that were broken, but in Biden's America, we can't allow illegal immigrants to enter the country and then be forced to reside in one of the country's richest zip codes. After all, it's far more humane to leave them to die in semi-trucks, which happened in Sheriff Salazar's county this June, or be flown to red cities and states just in time for the 2024 election. Because in this house, we believe no voter age human is illegal, as long as they stay off my lawn. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can watch full episodes and other clips just like this one. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications and tell all your friends about it.